Latin American Ethnogenesis Studying Latin America brings up a reasonable question on the process of cultural and political miscegenation and mixing of population. Many people perceive the latter negatively, through the lens of the globalization processes, which is not correct. Within the ethnogenesis, the merge, mutual complementation, mixing of languages, culture and traditions of separate tribal confederations and nationalities is quite normal. Old Russian nation emerged as the result of similar miscegenation of East Slavic, Finno-Ugric, and other tribes. As a result of this process, within the ethnogenesis, the formation of a common cultural environment takes place and the strongest and the most suitable option for which is the unity of language and religion. Latin America has already been through it all. They should have taken just one more step to create a united nation, but the provincialism of the local, regional, post-colonial elites, wishing independence, but not knowing how to use it properly, had led to these tragic results. Imagine if 200 years ago, Russia would have fallen apart into 30 different countries, having quite artificial borders. Each country would have had the Russian language and Orthodox Christianity as the dominating ones. And people, living on those territories prior to that moment, would have almost completely lost their own culture and language since no one would have created the writing system for them. After the fragmentation, the borders between the new states would have stayed the same whilst the external ones would have been inaccessible due to the lack of necessity of their defense. In the system of power, there are always some narrow-minded fellas and or some frauds who has more money and it doesn't really matter how they got them. In between stealing, the representatives of power are trying to form some separate political nations on the basis of fantasies, quite ridiculous historical analogies and myths the Great Parma, Ingria, Gondor, Atlantis, and others. But all those crooked constructs fall apart rather quickly. The vertical of power and the monopoly on violence are almost non-existent whilst many territories live in the system of power Ela, Sapok's gang from Kushchevskaya, 1990s Russia's infamous organized crime syndicate. This image seems strange and artificial, but that is exactly how the process of the formation of the United Latin American nation was frozen, turned backwards, and artificially divided into many different shards. Imagine what the world would be like if 200 years ago this process had been finished. Even if not by one, but three or four political nations bordering by the first lines of breakage. The USA wouldn't have the powers it has now. The world wars in Europe would have taken completely different course of actions. Constant confrontations and conflicts would have formed some powerful players in Latin America and probably even a hegemon. In the coming years, Ibero-America will have a chance to unite itself on new principles. An option of creation of a traditional state, the center of unity, possessing strong imperial elite capable of attracting others, and making the ones who disagree obey is hardly in evidence. There is only one way left new unexplored form of a metastate of Ibero-America. And yeah, acolytes of globalization are trying to play with miscegenation, completely annihilating the variety of languages, cultures, and religions of humanity. Ibero-America is a different case. It resembles the formation of the Russian world. 